is Surinder. Surinder was diagnosed with ovarian cancer in 2015. Now we know of the tremendous benefits of physical activity in aiding with cancer treatment, particularly in reducing treatment-related side effects such as pain and fatigue. And there have been amazing exercise oncology programs created for this very reason. However, when you look at the registration and attendance in these programs, you will notice a pattern. There is a lack of representation of ethnic minority cancer populations in these programs. Canadian ethnic minorities have been found to have worse health outcomes in every chronic disease category, including cancer. In general, ethnic minorities have been found to have lower levels of physical activity when compared to non-minorities, leading to health disparities. Current exercise oncology programs were created based on previous research aiming to understand barriers and facilitators to physical activity among cancer populations. But this research was lacking in diversity and it was limited to only English speaking individuals. We don't know what barriers and facilitators to physical activity exist among ethnic minority cancer populations. We don't know the role that different cultures may play in an individual's understanding of their disease and how they go about implementing lifestyle changes such as physical activity. Since her diagnosis, Surinder has implemented physical activity in her day-to-day -day life. And she has done so through the help of her granddaughter who is currently conducting research in exercise oncology. But my research is aiming to help other surrenders and help other ethnic minority cancer populations become more physically active. And I will do this by leading a team of multilingual volunteers who will conduct interviews with different ethnic minority cancer populations in their preferred language. This research will aim to identify barriers and facilitators to physical activity unique to different ethnic minority cancer populations. And the results of this research will help to inform future implementation of exercise oncology programs that are equitable, diverse, and inclusive. Thank you.